is credibility of our banking at risk? I don't think so, Tom. You know, and let me explain to your viewers, the, because you have a lot of global viewers on your show. Uh, our mandate is assigned to us by the Congress in statute, in black and white. The law says we have a goal of maximum employment price stability. And we have the independence to set our policy rates in order to achieve those goals. But we mm -hmm. are accountable. We're accountable for our results. We're accountable for explaining and trying to explain what we're doing and why we did it. Um, and I don't think our independence is, is under threat. And I think we're doing our job and we'll continue to do our the job. The sea change, and we say this, folks, yeah. in honor of Martin Feldstein, who oh, yeah. died just this week, a huge loss for economics. A huge, a huge loss. And, his current, and, one of my, and one of my teachers. And, and, and one of your teachers, and, and, and truly a mentor, and talking to Rick Mishkin, the former governor, the yeah. other day, a profound linkage of policy oh, with yeah. this academics oh, yeah. uh, that we have. We are at a moment where we're asking for other people to finally help central bankers. Yeah. Are we so fiscally constrained right now that you guys feel alone, given the growth yeah. of the debt and the deficit? Well, let me say this. If, let, let me say this again. Our mandate is is monetary policy, so we don't weigh in to, to fiscal policy. Obviously, we take fiscal policy into account in our outlook and in calibrating our appropriate policy uh, response. I, I do think that we are in a world where we're not just in the U.S., but around the world, we do need to recognize that there are a lot of important public policy issues that are really fiscal policy mm -hmm. issues that are not the purview of central banks. And I think to the extent that the public feels that the central banks are the solution to every uh, concern about the economy is, is is not the correct one. We actually have a pretty narrow mandate, uh, and we tend to focus on that. I have no idea the law or process of demotion at this great institution. Yeah. I know you don't want to talk about this, but it is in the air in Washington. Sure. We have a president who speaks his mind yeah. by this modern communication method. How has this building responded to the gossip, the innuendo of a demotion of any given Fed chair. You know, chairman. Tom, I can tell you, and we've known each other for 20 years, we're just doing our job. It helps that we have a very crisp and clear mandate. We have a toolkit. We have an excellent staff. We have 12 Reserve Bank presidents from around the country. We sit around that big table just across the hall. Uh, we have an objective. We have the tools. Um, and we have a very, very, uh, very, very collegial committee. And we reach, we think, good, good decisions.